So Devin Haney posted a, a, a picture of Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Garcia. And he posted a picture of him sparring Mayweather. And he pretty much said, you know, he called, you know, De uh, Ryan Garcia clown. And he said, you know, that's a future fight where he basically going to be looking forward to proving Ryan Garcia wrong and smoke him. He wants to fight now and later. Ryan Garcia obviously had a hit list of Linares, Javante, and Devin Haney. However, he named Devin Haney last. And he did say, listen, man. You ain't a real champion, but he don't want to grab that fake strap out of him, right? So if you feel like he a fake champion, why don't you fight him is the million dollar question. So obviously that's a fight in the future, but they could fight now and later and make more money later and make more sense later. So if it makes dollars, it makes sense, right? So, um, so we'll see. I believe because Ryan Garcia is training with Canelo Alvarez, that's definitely uh, is going to benefit him tremendously. Ryan Garcia, I don't know about his footwork. You know, he 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 definitely has good feet. I haven't really studied his footwork that much. I know Devin Haney has tremendous footwork. On the other hand, Ryan Garcia lacks in one department, which is his upper body movement. He relies on bringing his hands up. It was kind of like Amir Khan. He relies on blocking every single time. You know, he didn't rely on reflexes a whole lot because obviously not everybody is gifted with reflexes. So uh, Ryan Garcia always bring his hands up. And when, when he's in the inside, he always tie it up. He don't know how to fight in the inside. He's not comfortable. So I see some weaknesses, but his attributes really eliminate a whole lot of that. How you doing, RQ? This is where you calling for? This is Julia Wax. Uh, Joe's life, man. You always call right on time, man. So I was talking about, you know, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat my points because you just called in. So I was saying, like, that, like if I'm going to pick somebody to win that fight, it's going to be Devin Haney. The reason why I see Ryan Garcia, some weaknesses in his game, like, you know, not being able to fight in the inside. And, you know, he always rely on uh, blocking punches and bringing his hand up. However, his chin all the way up in the air. Now, one thing for sure, Ryan Garcia has tremendous attributes like his speed and his power. So he really get and he 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 eliminates a lot of guys out of there quick because they can't even deal with his hand speed. But when you step up to that level where they obviously going to be comfortable with seeing your hand speed because they've been there, done that. It's going to, you're going to have to rely on different things. I feel like Devin Haney could do that. I feel like Devin Haney already even seen Ryan Garcia hand speed before because he fought him multiple times in the amateurs. Ryan Garcia got a couple wins. Devin Haney got a couple wins. Uh, however, Ryan Garcia don't, don't have upper body movement. That's why it's be beneficial to train with Canelo Alvarez. I feel like he is getting better. Uh, Devin Haney, on the other hand, Devin Haney is training with a man that schooled Canelo Alvarez. So are they going to have the same fate? Is what I'm pretty much asking. <laughs> All right. Here, here's my thing on this, man. I'm very familiar with, with Canelo Alvarez versus Floyd Mayweather. I wanted, I want, actually was going for Canelo Alvarez when I used to think that Canelo Alvarez was the truth, but Canelo Alvarez disappointed me. I was a very big fan of his once upon a time ago when Floyd Mayweather was still boxing in like 2013 when that fight happened, if I'm correct. But long story short, that fight disappointed me. Um, my thing, my thing about this Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney is this, man. Everyone always says that Ryan Garcia is ducking Devin Haney, right? Right. But I look at it like this. Ryan Garcia has already fought him multiple times. He knows him. Devin knows Ryan. Their, their promoters know each other, obviously, because what they're where they beat, not only De La Hoya, but also... Um, Canelo Alvarez. So, with that being said, it's like everything's already preset for Devin Haney, and Devin Haney knows that. And so, Ryan Garcia, he sees the opportunity to make it um, a super fight. And um, what he said in the ring, it still holds merit. And he explained it in the locker room. If you go back, and you look at the the night the, the 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 interview that he did in the locker room after he knocked out Francisco Francesca. He he said 
if you're the champion, then I'm the champion. How are you the champion? If you're a champion, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. How are you the champion? And you got your WC championship belt. I'm not a champion. I'm a, a, a interim champion. I'm a, a champion that's barely earning my stripes. I'm barely getting the title. I'm barely becoming the mandatory to fight for to fight you for your belt. And you're calling me out. And then he calls out Lomachenko. And he calls out Javante Tank Davis. And I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again. It's not Devin Haney's fault how he won the belt. But Ryan Garcia's point is a champion does not call out a challenger. That's backwards. The challenger calls out the champion. How would it look if Errol Spence Jr. was like, hey, Danny Garcia, come fight me. Hey. You Dennis Ugas, come fight me. People were like, what? Wait a minute, what about Terrence Bud Crawford? Yeah, but he what did, about he, Manny he did, Pacquiao? He did, remember with um, Sean Porter when he said, you know, Sean Porter could get it, Keith Thurman could get it, and Sean Porter was in the yeah, champion but, at the time. But guess what? Oh, okay. That's different. That that puts him, that, that, that's, that's bad. Uh, that looks bad. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I'm, I think I'm, that I'm, looks good. I'm, I'm cool. you, it's called free smoke. I think Devin Haney is the type of person he's trying to get anybody in the ring. He like, man, I don't give a damn if it's Ryan Garcia. I don't care if it's Lopez. I don't care if it's Javante. I don't care if it's Lomachenko. You know, I want all the smoke. So I, I have to respect that because he really living up to it. Now, it's one thing to ask. And then when an offer gets sent to you and you turn it down, then obviously that's capping. That's cloud chasing. But it's another when you really want it and everybody is avoiding you and you got handed a French fries title. That's why I, his I know, title. I, I that. Yeah, that's why his title is realer than the one Lomachenko has, because Lomachenko can't defend his title. On the other hand, Devin Haney can't. Uh, so when David, when when Lopez, yo, Ryan, excuse me, when Ryan says, um, you, you know, you're not a real champion. If you're a champion, then I'm a champion. It don't work that way because you weren't the one that was challenging Lomachenko, and Lomachenko didn't want to fight fight you and and had to get stripped. You know, uh, Ryan Garcia have a chance to fight Devin Haney, like you said, it will make more money later. But Devin Haney felt like, hey, I want to fight him now and later. I'm willing to whoop his ass now and later. Yeah, so he felt like me up to the next topic. Yeah, so he felt like he My ready now and later. So how, so that's all I'm saying with Devin Haney. So I got I got nothing but to respect that. Yeah, but here's my thing though. Like I said, the challenger does not call out the 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 champion does not call out the champion the challenger, regardless of how it looks. That that's backwards. From the eyes of the casual boxing fan, that's backwards. You're the champion. You stand on the top of the hill. You're the king of the hill. You don't go down to the ground and get off your hill and go look for people. You let them climb up to you. There's, there's no, you know there's no dancing that around person? that. You know what they call that person? They call that person a conqueror. A conqueror. He want to conquer. See, some people are satisfied with, have, with having a mountain and being the king of the mountain. Some people want to go to a different mountain and fight somebody else. They want to go to the ground and then challenge somebody there and then take over. And I feel you on what you're saying, but you got to realize Devin Haney, wanna, uh, he on his pretty boy stage. He, he being the most feared. So when you can't get a fight, you kind of have to do to be extra in order to get a big fight. To let people I know. I like that, to, but to he does it, have a fight. Who? He does have a fight. Who? He has Gary Russell Jr. He can be calling out. All right, well, Gary that's Russell, that, that should be. That's a perfect fight. That's the that's the fight that's supposed to be next. Uh, and as far as what? I know, as far as I know, they should be fighting next. But he do have a mandatory too, which is um, yep. Luke, Luke Campbell what? and and what's the other guy's oh, name? That's, that's what Eddie Hearn is, is trying to make right now. Luke Campbell. But when yeah. it comes, to, yeah, when it comes to Gary Russell Jr., Gary Russell Jr. You don't have a promotional company. Gary Russell Jr. will fight you on top rank. Gary Russell Jr. will fight you on the PBC. Gary Russell Jr. will fight you on the zone. As long as it's a very good, formidable opponent, and as long as there's a belt involved, and as long as there's some money behind it, Gary Russell Jr. is going to appear in that ring like Kung Lao out of, out of a portal. He's going to yeah. come there. But that's not but a wise idea is, either, though. That's not a wise idea, in my humble opinion. I feel like Gary Russell is extremely reaching trying to fight somebody that's around like that, that has a frame of a welterweight right now which is Devin Haney when he's a small 126 pounder I feel like 
Gary Russell is the making a huge mistake. Boxing. Yeah, but, the but, fastest hands in boxing. Yeah, but you got to be in range. The fastest hands in boxing. The yeah, most, gotta, the gotta most be, he, no, don't the most get technical. me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Gary Russell, uh, is, I, I love Gary Russell. You know, he he's one of the most feared as well. I mean, he got crews running for his life as far as I know. But all I'm saying is Gary Russell want to fight Javante, everybody. But... You could have the fastest hand in boxing, but if you fight a, a Javante Tank Davis, it's gonna work because you you could touch him. But when you find a guy that's so much taller than you and got so much height and reach on you, you're gonna have to close the gap in order to use the hand speed. And I think Devin could keep him in the outside and, and really school Gary Russell just based on his attribute yeah, yeah. of ha of having the height. I feel like the height and reach of Gary of 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 uh, Devin Haney is gonna be too much trouble for Gary yeah, Russell over the two weight divisions. Here's the thing. You're, you're, you're forgetting this. Gary Russell Jr. has better footwork than um, Devin Haney by far. No, it's not. That's it's not debatable. You think so? He, his, yeah. Um, I, I, think Gary Devin, Jr., I think Devin might have the better feet, in my humble opinion. Gary Russell Jr., go, go back and, and watch their last fights. Go back and watch Devin Haney versus Santiago, and then go watch Gary Russell Jr. from King Tug. King Tug was, is physically stronger than Gary Russell Jr. also, by the way. King Tug is a knockout artist. You go look at, at all of his at all of his fights. I think he was like because he has thirteen fights now. He's twelve and one, and he had like eleven knockouts. So besides Gary Russell Jr., there is only one person he didn't knock out that he fought. Right. And even though he was way stronger than him physically, Gary Russell Jr. his um his boxing IQ and his technique. That's what that's what he made matter in that and his speed, and he was he was stronger than he was trying to out muscle him, trying to run him down like he was a bull. Yeah. Gary Russell Jr. was side stepping well, it all that, night. That, that was a Here's featherweight. That yeah, that's a featherweight though. Like, this is a lightweight, and it's a lightweight that's trying to move up in weight, which is Devin Haney. So, like I said, I felt like J Gary Russell making a huge mistake trying to move up to one thirty five right away. He ain't even trying to move up to one thirty before he do that. I feel like that's a huge mistake. That's just my opinion. But um, all right, anyway, now anyway. let me get back to Ryan Garcia because I, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to burn the call on the Gary Russell Jr. because that was like a side note thing. I got you. But here, here, but when it's time to pull up, they a no show, just like their favorite fighter. But you already know what time it is with Charlo. You know, lines only, the Lions Den, the Boxing Den, the Boxing Brotherhood on Split Decision. Anybody can get it. They call, call me the problem, Can Man. AB. He changed his name to Twin. I'm going to change my Americans, name to Americans, Can Man because Mexicans, anybody can get it. Anybody so, can get it. Like I always tell all these decaps in the comment section, they could call in and try to debunk what I'm saying, but you can't debunk the truth. You can't go against facts. So what they do in the chat, what they do in the comment section, make me some damn money. That's what they do. So all I'm saying is all the people that's calling in that I'm knocking out, all the people that don't have the cojones, the decaps that don't even have the cojones to challenge Aki on his own show, on his own platform. They stay eating contaminated meat. Call in so I can knock you out because I literally lose brain cells debating with y'all decaps because it's so easy to debunk what y'all be saying. I could knock you out with a jab, right hand, hook, uppercut, right hook. Too easy. Like I said, quit ducking. Call in. Y'all decaps. No, no shit. <laughs> All of y'all decaps. <laughs> you better not duck me, son. I'm ducking. You better not duck me, son. Like I always tell y'all, like I always tell these decaps, they want no smoke, they want zero con confrontation, and they want to talk about, oh, well, that channel said this, that channel said that, this decaf wizard said this. Listen, I told y'all every single time anybody can get out on split decision. I don't know these bums, I don't know who they are, and I don't know who they lost to, but they don't have the cojones to challenge our key.